to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. So, I know that my time is up, but this is our final service. And you are going to pray and cry your heart. Some of you is for your ministry. The, you've been praying and fasting and say, Lord, take us to a new level. Time does not change anything. Time only reveals. It is what is upon you that defines what is around you. There is a grace for influence. Influence does not come with age. Influence does not necessarily come even with your educational prowess. There is a grace that compels people and territories to listen to you. It is true. There is a kingmaker anointing. People don't just become kings. There is a grace that enthrones. When that grace is upon you, no matter where you are, even in the cave of Adulam, it will not stop till you sit on the throne. That is the grace politicians need. That is the grace that people of influence need. Not just for self-aggrandizement, it's for the purposes of the kingdom. And so what is going to be happening here in a few minutes is a distribution of these spiritual possibilities that you take to yourself and your destiny a portion of spiritual reality that you did not come with as at the beginning of this conference. There is a grace that causes the book of remembrance to be opened. People don't just remember you because you are on earth. No. The Bible says, and that night, then the king could not sleep. And he said, bring me the chronicles. There were many people who had done good, but he said, what shall be done to this man? Listen. In Esther chapter 2, a village girl, pastor, called Hadassah, is attempting to contend for the position of queen. And while other ladies were learning how to walk, how to dress, one who was the keeper of the king's virgins called Hagar called her. He said, let me tell you a secret. There is an oil. Rub it on yourself for one year. I know the king. I know what he wants. Don't mind these things they are doing. There is an oil, some aloes. Keep rubbing on yourself. And then Esther chapter 2 and verse 17. The Bible says when Esther stood before Ahasuerus, it says the king loved Esther above that means he was considering others before she came but as soon as esther shows up with that oil she obtained grace and favor in his sight more than all the virgins so he set the royal crown of her head and made her queen instead of vashti listen to me stop praying about your request obtain the grace that makes that prayer a testimony otherwise it will remain a prayer point you want to build i agree it takes more than money i tell you the truth it takes more than money there is a grace that builds there is a grace for territory he dug a well and the philistines covered it he dug another well they covered it he dug the third one and they left him and he called it Rehoboth. He said, God has given me my own space. Oh, I'm tired of being a tenant. There is a grace. It's not just by saying, let me save and get money. There's a place for that. But first things first, there is a grace that when you carry that grace, your portion within a territory must be given to you. Thank you, sir. Thank you sir. Do you believe what I'm sharing with you? Yes, it's true. So we're about to pray because God wants to insist that if you call it activating the supernatural, then your life, you are supernatural when there are gaps in the explanation of your results. Your result cannot be all scientific. 
oh i know it is one plus one equals to three no there has to be an equation in your life that only god can explain and if it is the lord's doing then it must be marvelous if it's man you don't clap for me for walking walking is human but when i fly another agency is now supporting me please hear me some of your families are at the mercy of what you're about to receive some of our ministries are at the mercy of what we're about to receive this is not human worship not at all we are only stewards of this mystery by the privilege of the election of grace we have been made stewards communicators of these dimensions and that if you can discern elijah told elisha if you can discern he says my father my father the chariots of israel and the horsemen thereof i've had the privilege to meet a few people who have had contacts with god's generals as we call them i'm a student of revival i've had the opportunity to meet a lot of people i've had the opportunity like a bee carrying many anointings even some that i don't need in my own life but for the sake of destinies house on the rock if you will believe a time came in my life when the lord told me after a series of experiences he said from today you have entered the overflow anointing star i don't know who this man is but i'm seeing the angel of the lord pour oil on him the lord is shifting you to a new dimension in the spirit i don't know who you are but this man will become a wonder in this territory this man the hand of the lord is upon him and the lord is rolling away everything that looks like the limitation of yesterday didn't you sing it we are here for you come and rise up on your feet just pray in the spirit in one minute father this is a moment of destiny it's a time for my heart to receive just few minutes and we're done shabalakato sabrandakadabalato siyata outside pray that in the name of Jesus I draw strength from the realm of the spirit I tap into the economy of heaven hallelujah hallelujah the anointing of the spirit is upon this woman that's your wife there is a dimension of the prophetic that the Lord is shifting this woman into in the name of Jesus I stretch my hand step into that dimension husband you to come there is a dimension of grace both you and your wife two of you are stepping into that grace I don't know you but you will never be the same take that grace now fresh fire upon your life you will never be the same never be the same never be the same never be the same father the grace for my destiny the next level of my life release it upon me lift your voice and begin to pray someone is praying outside pray there is no distance there is no barrier in the spirit Sir, please this man and his wife come 
I knew the Lord was going to anoint you both, but I was just waiting for his timing. While we were talking there, please lift your hands, you and your wife. It's time for you to step into a new season in ministry. Father, in the name of Jesus, take that grace. Now, both of you, I release that grace upon you. You will never be the same. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, you will never be the same. Now, please hear me. I want to pray and I want to release the grace for speed. Please hear me. As I pray this grace, the hand of God is going to come on so many people here. Please, whether you are an usher or not, help them. Bring a few of them that you can bring out. They will begin to run physically as though it's by the Spirit. Right now, at the count of three, I declare, Father, over the city of Port Harcourt, over house on the rock, I declare at the count of three, the grace for speed. One, two, take that grace. Take that grace. I shift you by the spirit. No more delay. No more delay. No more delay. No more delay. I cause delay from your destiny. Here at House on the Rock, activate conference. Tarato Shalakata. And the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah and he ran and overtook the chariots of Ahab down to Israel. You will never be the same. You've touched his grace. Your life must change. You will never be the same. You've touched His grace, your life must change. He will never be the same. Shalakata pradakato shalema, embragete godo shiata. I'm seeing the number 31, the healing anointing, a strong anointing for the healing ministry. Some of you have prayed, you have fasted at the count of three. Oh God, like a mighty wind. May that ministry be activated over this land. Take that grace right now. Take that grace right now. The power to heal the sick. The power to deliver the oppressed. In the name of Jesus Christ. Just a few minutes and we are done for this service. My God. song Harubo Jo that's what I hear in my spirit Harubo Jo Imara Sheda Kanweda Kanweda Harubo Jo Harubo Jo There is a grace for restoration where people can receive back time i want to release that grace upon you right now father in the name of jesus the son of the living god that the years that the canker worm has eaten at the count of three i declare that that grace falls upon your life one two three take that grace Take that grace, take that grace, restoration of time, restoration of things, in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm going to pray for the sick shortly. Who is Juliet? Juliet. I'm hearing a name, Juliet. Who is that? Juliet. Please come quickly, just two, three minutes. Juliet no the Juliet I'm seeing is wearing a maroon dress 
like maroon you are wearing some is i think maroon or ox blood something like that is there someone like that what's your name madam juliet i want to pray for you you will never forget this conference for the rest of your life rebecca i'm hearing the name rebecca 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 this is what i'm hearing in my spirit rebecca madam i want to pray for you this is your daughter you are julia too i will pray for you a member of this church i want to pray for you madam don't worry let me talk to you please give her the mic no no don't, don't it doesn't mean you hold it this lady the lord is opening my eyes what's your name huh please don't come out at random please please juliet what's the name of your daughter my name is Jack. ah i have to pray because what i'm seeing in the realm of the spirit i'm seeing someone inside a coffin already and they are saying it's cancer that killed her what does she have Huh? Oh dear, our mic is not working. Please help us. Praise the Lord. We have to pray. She has cancer. This is what I'm telling you that I'm, that I'm saying. But the Lord himself is about to step in. You believe that? Please stand up, madam. There is a name that is above every other name. And we are going to pray. What's her name? Chiamaka. Chiamaka. Rosaline, 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 you are in the choir. Rosaline, who is that? Is there someone like that? Rosaline, is she in the choir? Hello, will turn in this around. That's my prophecy for you. Hello, My dear, look at me. The month of January, February is a strange month of lifting for your family. Here at House on the Rock, you will never forget this conference for the rest of your life. In the name of Jesus. Ma, let us pray. Stretch your hands towards this woman and let us agree. Hold my hands, madam. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let the mercy of God speak for you speak for your baby in the name of jesus christ and for you madam i pray that the lord himself will perfect your health let your blood be cleansed in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ someone here has please don't be embarrassed you don't have to come out someone here has the issue of blood whether it's your circle or not go out now and check it has stopped right now go out right now and check this is whether it's your monthly circle or not very painful you've had an issue go please use the restroom now and check we have just five ten minutes and then we're done juliet i want to pray for you first bank you walk in first bank this is i'm saying that you walk in first bank i have to pray for that person you walk in first bank here in this city sir i want to pray for you there is a grace for wealth that god wants to put upon your life this is not just about the bank this is god increasing you because i'm seeing that soon you will not even be there again i'm seeing you doing oil and gas this is what i'm saying in the name of jesus who is the christ of god i pray that god will show you mercy and grant you access to this grace for the sake of his kingdom in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ wow i just saw a win there are many prophetic worshipers it's a grace for prophetic worship at the count of three that grace is going to be resting on people and i'm glad minister Dunsin is in this place 
in the name of Jesus I pray I don't know where they are but I just saw that wind and I hear prophetic worship there is a grace that is coming upon you father I pray there are men and women who must sing songs songs of the spirit at the count of three may that anointing take that grace one two three take that grace right now in the name of Jesus Christ a dimension of prophetic worship I pray for you in the name of Jesus may the Lord take you to higher levels and dimensions in the spirit in the name of Jesus I can't remember why I called you out in the name of Jesus Christ one two three four five ladies in that family experiences there are men who have paid their price with God and have been able to access power to be a blessing to the church so make no mistake of thinking that this is some funny demonic thing no 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 not at all in the name of Jesus Christ laughter is symbolic of victory in the spirit why God does the things that he does this is not just some superstitious things I prophesy to you and to your families that that which brings shame and gloominess by the spirit of grace may it live your life forever leave your family forever and I also prophesy to someone here who is tapping into this testimony the seasons of crying over your loved ones and over your life I bring them to an end now in the name of Jesus Christ are you seeing that the laughter is over it was not about superstition God bless you lay your hands I want to pray for the sick now can you lend me five more minutes pastor I just sense that God is doing something in this place okay chuku is it okay or okay chuku okay chuku my God come this man's life is about to change the Lord is telling me that he will use you as an example of what service can do to a man okay is this not the young man that escorts us or something you are the one driving the Lord is saying I should tell you that he's going to use your life as a testimony of what service can do let me tell you this fear people who serve you they are climbing mysterious ladders in the spirit my friend I stand in the open room not in, in, in private and I prophesy to you in the presence of your pastor and the servants of God here according to the time of life I speak three months one two three over your life may you shift to a dimension of grace a dimension of wealth a dimension of power even by the spirit of the living God and I pray that that which brings shame and reproach to your life it will live like smoke before the wind in the name of Jesus Christ may God bless you sir it pays to serve it truly pays to serve let me pray for the sick right now you're trusting God for a miracle lay your hands right now if it's a part of your body you cannot touch please make contact with your chest let's rebuke infirmity something is happening here the healing anointing is about to flow God is a healer he's a restorer now listen please pastor has given me the privilege of five minutes this is what will happen I will rebuke infirmity in here out everywhere now very quickly just so that we can bring glory and honor to the with me house on the rock in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus shout a loud amen in the name of Jesus now two people are going to shout under the anointing loud to the hearing of everyone when that happens the healing power of Jesus will begin to flow in this place I honestly don't know why God does this sometimes two people now we're ready to pray for the sick 
I rebuke every spirit of infirmity in the name of Jesus. Shout a believing amen. I rebuke I rebuke every devil of infirmity from the crown of your head even to the soles of your feet. My God, such an anointing. I declare be healed now. Help them please. Be healed now. Be healed now. Every blood condition. Be healed now. Your genotype that you desire changed. We change it now. I command migraine headaches. The Lord is healing migraine. In the name of Jesus. I'm seeing the Lord heal high blood pressure. Be gone in the name of Jesus. Be gone in the name of Jesus. I mentioned the issue of blood and I'm seeing do it again. In the name of Jesus, I command that irregular cycle to stop now. Every malignant growth around your abdominal region, I cause it, let it go now. Anyone who cannot use your ears properly, I declare your ears open now. Every blind eye be open now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every bone condition here, hear the word of the Lord. I declare be straightened, be made whole now. Someone is being healed from peptic ulcer. In the name of Jesus, peptic ulcer. I'm seeing at least four ladies lump in your breast i cause it now weakness weakness in the body you can't stand for long in the name of jesus be healed now there's someone you have a problem with your throat your neck or your throat i don't know what that problem is the power of god is touching you now be healed in the name of jesus severe pain around your abdominal region be healed in the name of Jesus you find out that whether it's cold or hot your body is consistently hot in the name of Jesus I come against it now whether I mention your case or not here at activate 2020 be healed in the name of Jesus 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 in two minutes very quickly we're out of time I'd like you to check yourself if you are coming from outside please do let the protocol know that you are coming for healing so that they can allow you to come very quickly the power of God has taught several people I'd like you to leave your seat check yourself quickly just come here right now let's celebrate miracles in this place are you seeing what God is doing in this place my God check yourself check yourself very quickly make your way boldly to the front let's celebrate them as they come inside outside the power of god has touched you just line them here we confirm them and um just have a few people come quickly are you celebrating what god is doing here those coming from outside check yourself if you're coming please rush please rush please rush creator of the universe what can you do? What can you do, Jesus? I went home and, and I felt um, a pain at my side. And a couple of years ago, I done um, test and they said I had ovarian cysts. Ovarian cysts. And then I even came with the pain today. When he talked about blood, then today I just felt like tap was running. But when he said that, I don't feel like I'm completely anymore. Praise the Lord. Any pain? Any pain? It's, it's gone. gone completely. Yes, it will never return to you again okay. in the name of Jesus. Yes, please. Praise the Lord. This particular headache, oh my 
Please help us with the mic. I, my down my throat. And for, for some time it stopped. Only for me as I came today. It didn't start. I, I've been feeling so weak. Yet what happened to you now? Now it's, I'm healed. Completely. And I asked God, why now? He said so that he can settle it once and for all. In the name of Jesus. Come, madam. Oh, Never returns again. In the name of Jesus. Yes, please. Next person, very quickly. Praise the Lord. I've, I've always desired my God, miracles a are genotype happening in change. I went a pastor mentioned my case. I, I received a flash that uh, my genital has been changed. So you go to the hospital eh, for, for a check, right? So make sure you go and then let it be verified. Yes, very quickly. Okay, the, uh, this is what will happen. If you, you, if you can have two mics so that we just do them concurrently very quickly. Yes, please. Go ahead. Please, God. For please sit for years, a few minutes. For two years now, I've been dealing with um, ulcer, tonsillitis, back pain, chest pain. Medically verified? Yes. Okay. But there's nothing that has been done. Like anytime I take the drugs, it does What happened now? Since yesterday, I prayed and I was like, God, I need your healing. My I God. I've been going through this. And the moment you came in, I've not felt any back pain. I've not felt any. I've no Try to jump. On a normal day, I would Any pain. Eat. Bend down. Nothing, nothing. Bend down. Any pain. Whatever. Completely. On a normal day, I do not. Once I wake up from bed, seven o'clock, I would eat. I'm not eating till now, and there's no pain. What In the name mean? of Jesus, it never returns to you. In Jesus' name, yes, please. Praise the Lord. I just want to thank God for the past six years I've been on drugs. Any day I don't take drugs, I won't be able to walk. Even before I came here, I was even struggling to come. I just want. I just believe that God has healed me because if I don't take drugs before we go even go and urinate i will urinate my body if i don't i've been my on God. drugs i've lived Come. a life with drugs don't cry you see you don't understand the value of the power of god until you see what it does to the life of those who have been victimized by darkness you can imagine a wonderful lady like this easing herself on her body just because of some demonic thing oh but jesus but jesus Please stand up, my dear. Don't cry. You will never forget this conference. Hold my hand. I bring you the life and the power of the Spirit. Let it be over forever. Yes, please. Very quickly. Praise the Lord. I have been having a chest a pain in my ribs for months now. Yes. And it emanated like yesterday, started yesterday. There's Ask. someone, you came here with a boil. Go and check it now. The shock is that you will not even see it again. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, please. As you just prayed now. It left completely. Completely. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Very quickly. Just a few minutes for this. The Lord bless you. Yes, please. Church, praise the Lord. I'm really grateful to God because for the past six years, I've been experiencing toothache. And whenever it comes, it normally touches my, in my brain. And I've taken all medications, but no care. I really thank God for healing me. After the what prayers, happened right now? After the prayers, I received instant healing. Completely. Instant. Yes, sir. It will never return to you again. Amen. I stretch my hands towards you and I curse that spirit. I declare you are free now. You are free forever. In the name of Jesus. Yes, please. Quickly. I want to thank God because for about three months ago, I had a revelation. And after that, I usually have pain. And into my prayer, I feel this pain. Yesterday, I was seated and I felt a swollen on my neck and it refused to go. And it was, it, I was feeling very hot. So I told my parents that I'm coming to this place and they will, I will be healed. As I was at the back and you, were, you said something concerning your throat, neck, I placed my hands on that place. And right now, my it's neck gone. is gone. Turn your neck. Any pain? Any pain? Come on, Port Harcourt. Any pain? In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare that every ailment I release the power of God upon you and I declare be healed completely in Jesus name go ahead we may not be able to take Praise everyone the but then let's let's Praise. go ahead please so you said something about someone's throat since me there's something that crawls up my throat then it starts to choke me and tears come out from my eye okay so when you said I didn't want to come out because I can't check it but something said go you're healed Oh, in the name of Jesus, come, my dear. It will never return to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Never to return to you again. In the name of Jesus. Yes, please. Service, um, 
yesterday and my glasses got broken. I've been having this eye pain since February this year. So I came to service and with this burning sensation in my eye, as soon as you prophesied, you mean it, you said the word, it just went immediately. I am made old. I came to return all glory to God. In the name of Jesus, the Lord will perfect you. You remain whole in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. In the space of a year, I lost my mom and my sister. Since then, my temperature has always been hot. I was the oh one who complained of. Every time my body is always hot. <laughs> but now, my body is cold. Completely. Completely. Look at me. In the name of Jesus, I declare that devil of darkness lives your life forever. You are made whole now, you remain whole forever. In Jesus' name. Please, very quickly, let's see if we can take a few. Just coordinate them. Let's be... Just a few striking testimonies and then we'll pray for the rest. Yes. Since I was six years old, I was close. These are testimonies too? Pastor, what is happening in your church? Go ahead. I fell at that school necrosis since I was six. In 2018, I went for a surgery. They said my bone tissues were dying. That your bone tissues were dying. <laughs> okay. Regenerating. Okay. So because of that, I always feel sharp pain in my hip. Bone. Sharp pain. Okay, your hip pain. Yeah. When you measure the bone, each was gone. I felt completely. Pain. Run. Run. Any pain. You move mountains. You cause walls. Your power is There is nothing that's impossible. That's impossible. And we're standing here. Hold my hands. You will never need to have a hip replacement. In the name of Jesus, gone and gone forever. Yes, please. For the past about six or seven years ago. I feel this lump down in my lower abdomen. A lump? Yes. Okay. I'm so scared to go to the hospital, so I've been praying about it. And then you made, you made mention of my two cases. Right when I was a child, I had measles and got my left eye partially sighted. And I've been believing God for that. But specifically, this lump gone. I can't Press find it. it anymore. Press it. It's gone. Completely gone. Hold my hand, my dear. In the name of Jesus Christ, it never returns by the power of the Holy Ghost. Can we just have two, two or so, so that we're done? Please, just coordinate them in no particular order, please, so that we we'll save time. You know what will happen? Maybe we'll, we'll find you, you can always have some other time to testify in church here. We may not have all the time. I apologize for stretching you beyond the normal time but just to celebrate what God is doing and to celebrate what the word is doing go ahead please quickly praise the Lord for the past four months I've been having my great headache even yesterday before coming to church I had to take pain relief my friend is a witness most times before I know the headache would just come very heavily but immediately pastor declared the word the headache just it's completely the gone in the name of Jesus, it will never return to you by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. Praise the Lord. Where I used to do business, there is something that happened. I, since that time, all my body used to burn. He said uh, there is uh, this ritual people that dropped that something. This what? Ritual people. People that use people for ritual. Oh, they so, cut, they cut, they, they kidnap you. They, no, they keep something that in my shop. Okay. I picked it they drop money so i thought it was my change so they drop it uh, in my place and, and what it. happened after that and immediately after that time all my body was burning it looks as if i didn't know okay. myself again and now and now i'm okay completely completely blotting out every handwriting the bible says and every ordinance that spoke against us the bible declares that he nailed it to his cross sir hold my hand in the name of jesus i declare 
Let it be gone. Now, out of his life. I pray in the name of Jesus for all of you who have received. I, I so apologize. There are so many people. Sorry, we can't have you. You see, let me tell you, this man, he was not joking. It's true what he said. This ritual, whatever it is. I know what I saw when he was crying. Look at a grown man crying like a baby. Only God knows. I pray for you. Every planting of darkness in and around your life that is attempting to frustrate the counsel of God over your life, I declare destroyed now. And for all of you who have been healed in the name of Jesus, I release you to experience the grace of God. It will never return. In Jesus' name I pray. This is my final session. I want to make an altar call. Please listen to me. It is important that people be saved. It is important that people come to the saving knowledge of Jesus. Many of you have been here from when the conference started. And the Holy Ghost began to speak to you from speaker after speaker. And some of you are in the overflow. Some of you are online. I want to make this altar call. We have just a minute. Sincerely, Pastor, forgive me. But right now, I declare that the power of sin, Satan, is broken over your life. I'm going to ask you very quickly. You're trusting the Lord and you're saying, Apostle, here at House on the Rock, I want to remember this day forever. That this was the day that I received the life of Jesus. This was the day that I allowed the Spirit of God to win this war over my life. Wherever you are, as though you are running from fire that is burning on a mountain, I'd like you to run quickly and come and stand here. I will just count one to five and then we're done. Please make sure you do not waylay the ministers here. One. Two. Those in the overflows, you don't have to come in. Just move to the front of your projector screen. Move to the front of your projector screen. All of the overflows. Move to the front of your projector screen. Three. Are you coming? Apostle, I'm not sure if I'm born again or not. Join them quickly. House on the Rock, is this how you celebrate salvation? It's time for a fresh start with Jesus. It's time for a fresh start with Jesus. No matter what the past is, He can give you a new beginning. You can start afresh with Him in the name of Jesus. Now please look at me i salute all of you ladies and gentlemen thank you for the courage to come here the bible says as many whoever will come to him that he will in no wise cast away please lift your right hand above your head and i want you to say this passionately and truthfully so you're not reciting a poem this is a declaration that becomes your initiation into this life of faith and this life of victory hallelujah say after me lord jesus i love you with all my heart and I believe that you are the son of God I believe you shed your blood your life for my sin today I declare that eternal life is mine I declare that you are my Savior you are my Lord and you are my King I hand over my life to you and I receive yours in exchange from today I go forward ever and backward never some of you are crying don't be ashamed of your tears you're crying before your maker in the name of Jesus I pray for you that you will enjoy the ministry of the Holy Spirit I pray for you that the grace to walk in victory may that grace be released upon you I decree and declare that the power of sin, the power of Satan, the power of the flesh is broken over your life forever. In the name of Jesus, your life will become an unending epistle of signs and wonders. In Jesus' name, I pray. Okay.
now this is what i want you to do very quickly you will return back to your seats just pick your bag your bibles whatever you came to church with and then um you meet them where please help me okay there will be a gentleman waving his hands this gentleman there are a group of people waving their hands you can follow them if you've picked everything that you have please just follow them they will lead you to a room and just follow you up very quickly can you celebrate them as they go please let's stand we're done in the name of jesus christ may the remaining part of this year look like heaven in your life i declare that the realm of the spirit will consistently partner with you for divine results you have carried graces and anointings every dimension of grace required for the next level of your life hello beloved in christ we hope this message was a blessing to you i would want you to do something for us if you are new here kindly hit on that subscribe button for us and then like this video as well share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching.